Hello everyone, and welcome to another battle report for my channel. Today we have battle report 20. This is a scenario kill. We're doing dwarves versus undead, and it's another 1500 point game. Uh, my list is a little different this week. Um, to start, we have two troops of dwarf ironclad. One regiment of iron guard with amulet of thorns. So it'll be a defense 6 unit with um, phalanx. Hopefully to hold a flank off, not expected to do a lot of damage. Uh, one troop of rangers. One horde of shield breakers with the brew of sharpness. One horde of earth elementals with blessing of the gods. One greater earth elemental. One army standard bearer. A stone priest with the bane chan upgrade. And a king on, oops, I should say on, but anyway. King on large beast with the medallion of life for a regen 5 up. So my opponent today is the undead the undead has one horde of zombies giant rats upgrade and blessing of the gods one legion of zombies giant rats upgrade brew of sharpness and the touch of darkness the touch of darkness is a upgrade from moral the faceless which gives them a regen of five plus one regiment of revenant cavalry with the caterpillar item one horde of zombie trolls with the Chant of Hate, a Vampire Lord, Wings of Honey Maze, a Necromancer, Bane Chant Upgrade, Mounted on a Horse, Inspiring Talisman, and one Morgoth the Faceless. So yeah, you'll notice this is, an, uh, this is a very small number of fairly elitist troops, except for obviously the zombies aren't elite, but they're, but they're big. So, let's go to deployment. Uh, this is my opponent. From right to left, we have the uh, Horde of... Um, zombie trolls uh, behind them is the vampire and next to them is the horde of zombies behind them is the necromancer um, go over here so the next to them is the legion of zombies which you can see my wife has actually got some work done on the front one so the, the mantic zombies are actually really nice so she's got a couple troops done uh, behind them is Morgoth the Faceless, and standing in for the Revenant Cavalry tonight are some knights I'm painting for my Kingdoms of Men army. So, I'll go to the other side of the board, dwarves, from left to right. This is after Vanguard. Uh, my rangers, uh, two troops of uh, Ironclad in front of my Shieldbreaker horde. Um, so, so you can see uh, kind of behind that tree there is the uh, Greater Earth Elemental. And the horde of earth elementals, the stone priest is behind the greater earth elemental, um, the iron guard regiment with the phalanx upgrade, and then the king on the large beast over there by the farm. Um, so here's the deployment, um, as you can see. Um, nothing too much to say about this. Um, I, I'll tell you some mistakes I made later, but I, I would rather spoil them as they come. So. You want to turn one, uh, and turn one goes to the dwarves. So, dwarves move up. Except for the rangers. They don't move up, because they can shoot. And on the other side, we just move up. Um, and we didn't, and we don't surge anybody. So, hop into shooting. Um, rangers put a few damage on these guys, and that's what it looks like. Nothing special. Everyone just kind of moving up. So, we go into undead, and undead move up. And undead move up. And a surge goes off. And these guys move up some more. Um, yeah, Mor Morgoth did, did try to lightning bolt somebody. But it just it didn't do any damage against uh, the guys you could actually see. So um, that's that. You can see we're coming heads to head. And we go into turn two. Um, so turn two uh, for the dwarves. This is where I'm kind of feeling a little... Here, here's where I should have done something different. Um... Those those two troops are really blocking up my shield breakers. Um, the the enemy doesn't have any shooting, so there isn't necessarily a reason for me to be screening them this dramatically. Um, they could be off to the sides, off to the front a little bit, but instead, I just march everyone forward and not quite so helpful. Um, they they just kind of starting getting in the way on this side. Everyone just goes up. Um, the king 
a little less. The the guys over here on the left are staying outside of the uh, Revenant Cavalry charge range. Uh, shooting the Rangers do three more damage, looks like. And the board looks like that. So we're getting ready for the undead to come in. And in the undead turn, they come in. Uh, the Revenant Cavalry moves up a little bit. Um, to take the charge from the king, oops, sorry, to take the charge from the king, but not the uh, other guys, which, you know, it's okay. He's currently going to be hindered, so it's not actually that bad of an idea. Uh, the Legion of Zombies charge my greater earth elemental. The Horde of Zombies charge a troop of ironclad and the zombie trolls, that's what they are, <laughs> zombie trolls charge the other regiment. And the um, vampire on the right there flies over to keep the rangers out of the flank for next turn. Which is good. A little Bane Chant on the Legion of Zombies. Um, which does a bit. They get about five points of damage on him. But he's he's obviously fine. Uh, the Horde of Zombies whiffs quite a bit. Only gets two damage on my troop. Bounces off. Um, but not as expected, I guess you should say, the... Uh, the, the horde of zombie trolls eats these guys pretty good and doesn't overrun, um, which I think was smart. Go to turn three. Turn three. Um, on this side, uh, the, the king charges. The dwarf iron guard pivot and move, um, getting hopefully getting over, thinking that the king can handle himself. They'll go help out. With the rest of the board. Um, the Earth Elemental Horde shifts left. Um, which you'll see why I did that in a second. And we go to the other side. Sorry, this is a little bit of a blurry picture. But you can see where some of the problems are. Um, the troop of Ironclad Countercharge. The Horde they're against. And that's that's fine. Uh, the Rangers charge the uh, Vampire. Because though they're better in combat than they are at shooting, um, just because of the crushing strength one. But I don't. I, I've read the rules and I looked at this, and I don't think my shield breakers can charge the um, zombie trolls. Uh, the only thing I can get into contact is a corner. I can't g get any amount of the frontage actually touching, and this is where I think my my deployment really messed me up here. So. I've essentially spent the first three turns not getting to use my shield breakers. I mean, I expect them not to get used turn one, but um, now if I'm, if I'm wrong on this, but I didn't see anywhere that would be the opponent would close the door to you on like if you got a corner. And so I didn't think I could charge here. So over here, um, since I shifted the earth elementals left, the surge put them into the flank instead of into the front. So that is good. Double up those attacks. Um, pretty squishy zombies. Uh, overview of that. So dwarves charging. The uh, the dwarf king does a, a whopping one point of damage to these guys, which is spectacular. Um, well, he was hindered, so you know what happens. Um, the rangers put a point of damage on the vampire. And um, what I needed to pull through, pulled through pretty much. Uh, the double charge here actually got 20 points of damage on this unit. But I couldn't do it. I couldn't roll an 8 twice. So they remain and that's a bummer. Because that unit has regen and lots of healing and life leech too. So yeah. Um, I think these guys actually failed to do any damage to the zombies, or maybe it was like one or two. Not a big deal. And that's that. Nobody was destroyed. Um, didn't work out quite as well as we hoped, but we're going to a dead turn three. Um, this is just showing, well, they, they, they legion charges, counter charges the, uh, greater earth elemental, but this is also showing the, uh, the uh, regen going off. So, uh, just more charges. Um, the zombie horde goes back into that troop. The horde of zombie trolls goes into my horde of shield breakers. Um, the vampire goes back into the, uh, or goes into the rangers. And you can see the revenants charge the king. Um, so, this is just showing that Bane Chant was cast again. 
as would be smart. Um, and I think this is showing healing was also cast on these guys. So they've, they've regained seven points of damage so far. We go into combat and the uh, non-thunderous charge revenants um, do four points of damage to my king, which is pretty good actually for them. And then end up rolling a waiver. So that's a bummer. Um, the uh, zombie legion uh, picks up the slack this time and does 9 points of damage, putting me up to 14 and routing my greater earth elemental bummer. And then turning like this. And also getting 2 points of damage back. So, yeah. That's hard. Um, these guys do a couple points of damage here. Um, nothing special. And uh, waver my uh, troop here. Which is okay. Uh, and the horde oh guys does thing yeah they do they actually do 12 damage which is, which is pretty good to my um shield breakers but they they hold the vampire on the other hand though uh, makes pretty quick work of these guys and turns around so just no review the undead three so moving to turn four turn four for the dwarves we start the headstrong rolls the king passes troop passes ironclad pass so that's good so over here, the um, I, I did slide the uh, shield breakers over after I realized they should have been slid over. But anyway, shield breakers go back in, or counter charge, which is which is good. Finally getting to use them, the ironclad go back in to those zombies. The uh, the um, earth elementals go into the front of that there legion of zombies. Um, I thought about charging Morgoth since he's there, but it's just there's just no point. He, he's a 17, 19 route. They, yeah, sure, they could stop him from casting for a turn, but they, they're not going to kill him. So, uh, and the king goes back into uh, his thing. And you can see the um, dwarves there. I've turned them because I, I stopped. <laughs> I should have committed them one way or another already. This is another mistake of mine. They're just flip-flopping back and forth and not helping anything. So, yeah, should have done something different with them. But... So, uh, the king goes back in, and the king does zero damage, which is great. So, they're going to have their thunderous charge next turn. Um, these guys, though, you know, they go in, and they, they do some decent damage. We get them up to 19 damage. That's not that's not bad. That's, I need to roll a 9 twice, and I roll double ones. <laughs> so, um, there, it wasn't double ones this day. It was just funny. So, I took, I took a picture of that. Um, these guys... Smash some more zombies. My shield breakers, not surprisingly, route the horde of trolls. They're pretty. They're pretty meaty fighters, um, and end up like this. So there's the overview. Uh, not a lot has changed, but we're going on. Uh, undead turn four. Uh, undead turn four. These guys regen some and charge back in. Um, charges over here as well. The uh, horde of zombies just goes back into that troop. The troop has held up a horde of zombies for a long time. Um, yep. Uh, you see Morgoth flew around over here, uh, and those revenants now not any longer disordered go into my king, and he is he is not going to be in a good spot for that. So uh, we get a bank chan off. On the guys fighting my earth elementals. Uh, we get an action pose here. Um, for some reason. And my king takes damage as I expected. And he is routed. So that's what it looks like afterwards. Um, these guys take about six points of damage. Yeah, you know, it's okay. Actually, it's pretty good. Um, they finally route my troop of ironclad. So they held those guys off for a long time. Which is exactly what they're kind of there for. I just really poorly positioned the uh, the hammer to their anvil. So they didn't get to be quite so useful. But they reform like this so they don't take those shield breakers in the flank. Um, that's what it looks like. The end of turn four. So we're going to turn five. Turn five. Um, the charges you would expect. Um, shield breakers into the zombies. Elementals back into those, um, <coughs> excuse me, zombies as well. 
I guess that's when everyone's fighting. And the Iron Guard go into the Revenant Cavalry. So in the magic, um, my Stone Priest threw the Bane Chant over here on these guys, which will be helpful. Um, that's all my magic and shooting, so we go into combat. And it was helpful. They were able to get four points of damage off on the uh, Revenants, which is you know pretty pretty good. Over here, the uh, Earth Elementals do work. Um, they're obviously they're they're hitting on fours, re-rolling ones, and then wounding on twos. So it they're they're beating up on really squishy guys. But I roll a four. I needed to roll a five plus, and I rolled a four. A five plus twice couldn't do it. So I'm sorry, Earth Elementals, I failed you. Um, of course, over here though, these these guys just just slaughter um, zombies. The, yeah, 25 attacks, hitting on threes, wounding on twos. Yeah, goodbye. So um, that's what we look like at the end of Dwarf's Turn Five. So move into Undead Five. Um, yep, the Revenants charge the Iron Guard because why not? Uh, the Horde charges my horde, or, well, the Legion charges my horde, because why not? Um, Vampire charges my Stone Priest, because that's actually a pretty good, pretty good point cost, because Stone Priest is like 120 points or something with Bane Chant, so killing him is actually pretty useful. That'll stop me from Bane Chanting. Uh, and over here you can see Morgoth um, is interdicting himself um, to stop my Shield Breakers. From charging the back of those legion, in case, uh, in case the legion doesn't kill that er elemental horde. So just an action shot, uh, vampire hugging my dwarf. You know the good friends. Um, I think we get some regen going off. We're showing here, and probably bane chant, and probably heals. Yeah, there goes some heals. So going to combat, and in the hug fest, the vampire. Gets about four points of damage on him, which is enough to kill him. So, oh, excuse, oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, vicious, vicious killer dog. Um, likes to defend the house. Anyway, uh, so, so he's dead. And the the unfortunate uh, side effect was that is the overrun was long enough to bring the vampire into this combat. So, not not super helpful. Um, as you can expect, though, with the help of the vampire and the legion, um, a route was a route was just going to happen. So uh, that's what it looks like. After that, the uh, zombies turn around, and over here, the revenants do zero points of damage. So kind of a slap fight when uh, neither of us really have uh, crushing strength. So um, overview, moving to turn six. Uh, turns are going pretty quick. Um, my shield breakers charge into Morgoth. It's well, there's nothing else they can do if they got lucky. Here I'm thinking, well, if they got lucky, maybe, maybe, but no, I don't have that much high expectation. Um, over here, yeah, the uh, ironclad or iron guard charge. Um, you know what they do, so. Go into combat and shield breakers only do six points of damage. So, you know, it is. Morgoth is a he's he's defense six. I mean, he's not he's no slouch. So, sorry about that again. Yeah, very very a danger we're in apparently they were not aware of. But anyway, so Morgoth he's not going nowhere. These guys put a couple more damage on them, but I have not been able to roll an eleven twice. So. Uh, move into the end here of Dwarf's turn six. Um, undead turn six. The vampire goes to help out the revenants. Um, legion regens. Blah blah blah. Charges heals. Uh, moves in. And not surprisingly, uh, my fairly already damaged only defense four shield breakers don't hold out. So. Uh, that's the reform afterwards. They're uh, they're they're oddly enough, you'll you'll see why they're pointed this way. Exactly, it's kind of funny later. But uh, so uh, with, even with the help of the vampire, they only get two points of damage 
on my iron guard. So, you know, they're all right. Um, so we look on roll a four, five, or six to see if there's another turn, and there is. So we move into turn seven. Um, turn seven, my flagger just runs away because he's got nothing else to do. And these guys charge them. And I don't think they accomplish anything. I think they did one point of damage back. So that's it for dwarves. So, um, for undead, though, um, the zombies, well, the revenants charged. That was, that was a foregone conclusion. But the zombies moved up their five directly towards the dwarves. So, you can see here, there's a, a perfect, perfect scenario for a super surge uh, event that it could happen with. I think we looked at it and it needed something like nine inches. Some, something like that. And guess what? I got it. So three three surges later and the zombie legion makes it into the flank. Which is kind of funny. Um, so. Also kind of funny is even with all that combined, 80 attacks in the flank... Uh, knights in the front still can't break my iron guard they're they're not going anywhere so um you know defense six is defense six regardless so but anyway results it was a clear undead victory um one unit of iron guard is way less points than probably most of the stuff that was out there um so yeah, it, it was fun. It was. It didn't take very long because just a couple of fighty guys smashing each other. Um, so, some general thoughts on the whole thing. I watch your watch your deployment. Um, I've never really experienced experimented with deployment in depth up to now. So I think this is a a learning experience for me, which I was glad to have. Um, and yeah, hit hit bigger things harder. I I fought this regen legion of zombies before and it really really takes a lot of effort to knock it out um and, and i and i think i put enough effort into it <laughs> it's just you know maybe i needed to put a little more you know Cause sometimes you're gonna roll that too but anyway um thanks for watching guys i hope i wasn't too negative or the dog wasn't too annoying but um thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys next time